Hey, this is one of my favorite commands. I think it's really important to learn, and that's the Fusion Mirror. When it comes to mirroring anything solid in your design, you'll want to use the mirror command that's found under the Create menu. This is different than the Sketch Mirror. I did create a video just on that. I'll link that. But for now, we want to talk about how to do solid things that have multiple features, maybe have just a couple features. If you had a solid and you'd like to mirror it, in Fusion, go to Create, choose the Mirror command, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna first do this Features option. In the timeline down below, we'll choose the feature that we're mirroring, and now we must pick a mirror plane. It's a little misleading in that you can use anything from your original three planes down below, or you could create additional construction planes that you can use or you can select any face that you want that's on the model. I'll choose this face. I'm gonna choose Optimize. We can discuss that in just a little bit. Click OK. You can see that it solves and mirrors across that face. I'm gonna undo, try again. I'm gonna choose this solid feature, and then we'll try this face up above. You can see that it mirrors that just as well. Notice this little seam in between. It has not fused them together. If I go to my if I go to my bodies menu, you can see there's two bodies to pick from. In order to bring them together, do a search for combine or simply choose it from the menu here. Choose the two bodies and then click OK. It's going to fuse them into one body. Next, when it comes to mirroring, you're going to want to sometimes mirror your entire object, meaning all of the features in the timeline. I have roughly five features in the timeline below and I'd have to select all of those. And that gets harder when you've got a lot to select in your timeline and it has, it can be more cumbersome for Fusion to solve it. So what I'm gonna do is go to bodies. Anytime you're doing the entire thing, you're probably gonna be doing bodies and sometimes you'll be doing components. In this case, it's just a body in the design. I'll choose the whole body, choose the mirror plane, which in this case could be right here. It's gonna mirror it across. There is a join option, which is really nice. You can see it's one body. Why did it do that? If I go to the mirror, when I was doing the mirror, it gave me the option to join. So it does do that with bodies. One extra step that's saved that you don't have to combine everything if you'd like them to be one body. The important thing, I've seen this a bunch where new users to Fusion are in a sketch and they're trying to mirror and they're sketching a circle and they want to just mirror it over here. And for whatever reason, they close the sketch and then they go to this solid mirror, right? This is not for sketches. So that's a trick right there. That's one challenge. You can't do sketches in this mirror tool. The other thing I've seen people do is come in and create a sketch line in order to mirror across. So in this case, having a sketch line down below, they try to mirror the solids with this. You can't do that, unfortunately. You have to use faces or planes. Now, what if you wanted to mirror all of this over here? You can always introduce a new plane. We'll go to the construction planes and do offset. Select this face, I'm gonna drag it over, click OK. Now this plane, make sure my construction visibility is on. This plane, I could use that to mirror. It's going to take this and place it all the way over here, right? Because this is the mirror point and it's going to match the same distance to the plane. So go to mirror under create, choose the body, choose this plane, click OK. There is no merging because they're not touching. And I did bodies just to save time. I could have done features as well. Looks great. Now, what happens if you change this? What happens if I add a fillet? It's really important when you do it in the timeline. I'm after the mirror in the timeline down below. If I add a fillet right now, click OK, it will not mirror it over. Think about where it happens in the timeline. The mirror has already been solved. It's not solving again. If I went back in time before the mirror happened, I add the fillet, click OK, and then I resolve this mirror because it's a body it should mirror that over and you can see it's there. Very cool. The next thing is if you want to have more control over your mirror, I've put a plane right here. 
and I'm going to choose to mirror it. And I'm going to choose the features. If I choose this rectangular pattern, it's going to do this whole thing. That's not what I want. I want more control. Sometimes features are, there's too much in the particular feature set. So instead, I'm going to choose faces and I'll come in and select just the faces I want. Now one got you with this. If it had fillets and chamfers, a hole inside, a little dovetail, a, a keyway, all of those things, you'd need to go in and make sure you select everything. These are simple cylinders. They're easy. But if you have lots of faces, you have to select them for it to solve it correctly. I'll choose this plane. And now you can see it's pushing all of those faces down for us here, giving us a little more control. I started a new design. I created a component and I made it a tabletop. I created another component. I created a simple leg. These are two different components. I'm now going to add some planes so that I can put my legs in. I'm going to do uh, the mid plane trick. So you select two side faces, it'll place a plane, right click, choose repeat. I'll choose the top face here. This bottom face puts in a plane, looks great. Now what I want to do is mirror across those. These are components. So it's a little bit different than what we've been doing. I'm gonna hit S key for search. You mirror, click it. I'm gonna make sure that I'm selecting the components and I'm gonna select just the leg. I'm gonna mirror it across one of these plane. Click okay. Now, just like before, if I try to add a feature, but after my mirror, it won't know about it. I'm adding a fillet, click okay. There is no fillet over here. Again, if I had added that fillet before the mirror happens, then it would be there. Now, these components are separate of each other. This has a mirror suffix added to the names. It is a different component. If we were ordering these off the shelf, this has a different skew than this one. Now, if I go to mirror, I can do both of these components at the same time across this mirror plane. But just remember, it's gonna grab that fillet this time. And so one side has fillets, the other side doesn't. So if I want those fillets, I'd need to go in and add those before the mirrors happen. So you can mirror components, bodies, features, and faces. One big advantage of mirror in the solids, like one reason I try to do all of my mirroring at the solids whenever I can, is it lets me solve them differently. It's in the timeline so I can edit it. I can come in and of course change my mind, adjust it. I can also right click on the mirror and choose to suppress. This is almost like a temporary delete that you can at any time bring back. So I hit suppress and it's gone. It's not being solved. It's not visible. There is only one body. At any time I can right click on that and choose to unsuppress it and bring it back. Hey, if you're just joining us, be sure to check out my free fusion resources library. I've got some cool stuff in there. It's all free. I'll put that link in. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.